like a lot of people, I'm quite a fan of Alice in Wonderland. So I'm always looking out for adaptations that I haven't seen. But the reason I watched Alice's Adventures in Wonderland 1981 version by Fred Ladd is because Debbie Reynolds is credited as voicing Alice. And I actually first watched this maybe a year ago, I'm not sure exactly. And I just thought this this doesn't sound like Debbie Reynolds. I don't I don't understand. And I'm aware that she might have thrown her voice and that she can put on a voice, but also at the time she would have been late 40s, approaching 50, and Debbie Reynolds had quite a quite a raspy voice, a beautiful voice, I love her voice, but it's worlds away from the voice that this Alice has, and that's not to say that she doesn't have the vocal talents to throw her voice and put on this kind of voice, but that's not something that Debbie Reynolds ever really did. So I have no examples to compare it to. And then I decided to watch it again just now. And I thought, okay, I've watched it. I still am not 100% convinced that it is actually Debbie Reynolds. I'm more convinced that someone somewhere has credited her with this role. And obviously everywhere else on the internet latched onto that information. I'd love for somebody to prove me wrong and to say that actually, yes, she did an amazing job putting on this voice and it is her but if anybody does know either way and if it isn't her who is the voice of Alice um please do let me know I, I cannot find any any concrete information unfortunately the director is no longer alive so I can't even reach out there and there's no information anywhere online about anybody else because it's not just Debbie Reynolds credited as the voice cast I can't find anything anywhere but that's just a little bit of background about why I watched this and also why I watched it twice. But I thought, okay, I've seen it twice, I might as well discuss it now with the preface that I'm viewing it as a Debbie Reynolds fan, but I'm not watching it as a Debbie Reynolds fan, if that makes sense. This is actually a little different to any version of Alice in Wonderland that I've seen before, because this is actually um, apparently a Japanese, well it is, a Japanese animated short um, produced by Greatest Tales Inc, which I hadn't heard of, but I'm keen to check out what else they've done. Because at certain points, I thought that the animation was quite good. But there were other points where I thought it was a little bit more rough around the edges, it felt incomplete. And I don't know if that's just because there was a team of animators working on it with slightly different styles. I'm not sure, but there were just certain scenes that felt really good quality, flowed really beautifully, and then there were a couple of others that just didn't seem to fit right. However, if you are a fan of the story, then you'll be able to follow it quite easily, and I think it's certainly a, a very unique, compared to the ones I've seen, a unique look at uh, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. I will say, though, I don't like the design of the Mad Hatter. By which I mean I hate the design of the Mad Hatter. I just think he looks appalling. I don't like the colour choice. I don't like the style of him. Really not a fan at all. Whereas the Red Queen, I'm kind of on the fence about. Part of me liked the design of her. Part of me definitely didn't. So I really don't know. I don't love this version. I definitely don't love it. And if you've never seen an adaptation of Alice in Wonderland before, please do not make this the first one you watch. However, if you are a fan of Alice... And you've seen various versions and like me you always like to see other people's interpretations of it then i'd say yes it's it's definitely worth watching at some point um to see to see how you feel it was originally released in 1977 um presumably only in japan um and released i believe in japanese and then it was released um in 1981 with the English dubbing allegedly by Debbie Reynolds and whoever else was involved in this one. Um, I would love to know more. I really would love to know more about the voice cast and if you know anything else or can confirm anything. I'm really curious. Um, curiouser and curiouser. It's not a bad uh, adaptation. It's not the best. It's 21 minutes, I believe. Um, so, you know, if you've got that time to spare and you're a fan of Alice, definitely give it a watch. Please don't make it the first adaptation of Alice you watch. But if you're already a fan, I'd say it's a, an interesting and quite unique way of enjoying the story. <laughs> 